Welcome to Faz Learning Center. Please like, subscribe and share my video. In today's video, we will be adding fractions. We will be adding fractions which are unlike. For example, unlike means when they are not the same. 5, 8, 10 and 4 all are unlike fractions. In order to add fractions, we need to find a fraction, we need to find a denominator which will go into 5, 8, 10 and 4. A multiple which will go into these and the multiple is 40. So let's see how 5 multiplied by what makes 40. So 5 times 8. 5 times 8 equals 40. Yes. So 5 times 8 equals 40. If you do something to the denominator, so here we're making the denominator five time, 8 times bigger, we have to do it, do the same to the top denominator. So 3 times 8 equals 8, 16, 24. Let's look at the next one. 8 times what equals 40? 8 times 5 equals 40. Remember the rule, if you times the, den the denominator by 5, you have to times the numerator by 5 too. 5 times 5 equals 25. Let's look at the next one. 10 times what equals 40? 10 multiplied by 40 by 4 equals 40. We have to do, it, do the same on the top. So we're going to do 1 times 4 equals 4. Right, let's look at the last one. 1 fourth is the fraction. 4 times what equals 40? I know, 4 times 10 equals 40. So we multiplied the denominator by 10, we are going to multiply the numerator by 10 too. So we got 10 40th. Right, let's add them up. So a quick calculation to add them up. Let's see what we got. 24 add 25 is 49, 49 add 4 more is 53, 53 add 10 is 63. We do not add the denominator, in fact what we do with the denominator is we just pick up the denominator and pop it in the denominator area. So 63 over 40 is the answer. You may have realized that this is an improper fraction. If you have, fantastic. So the answer to this is 63 over 40. Let's go to the next question. 's question we have four fractions we have four unlike denominators 3 9 5 and 15 we need to find a number that all of these can go into 
and that is 45. How do they go into? Let's see. 3 times what equals 45? 3 times 15 equals 45. Remember the rule, if you times the bottom, the denominator by 15, you have to times the top by 15 too. 2 times 15 equals 30. Right, let's look at the next fraction. 9 times what equals 45? We need to get to 45. Because that's what we changed the denominator to. 9 times 5 equals 45. We have to do exactly the same on the top. 5 times 5 equals 25. 25 over 45. Let's look at the next fraction. 1 fifth. 5 times what equals 45? 5 times 9 equals 45. We've, we've times the denominator by, five, by 9, therefore we're going to times the numerator by 9 to 1 times 9 equals 9. So we've got 9 over 45. Let's look at the next one. 13 over 15. 15 times what equals 45? 15 times 3 gives us 45. So we do exactly the same, we times the top number, the numerator by 3, 2. And our answer is, so 3 times 3 is 9. And the 1 is a 10, so it's a 10 times 3 is 30. So we'll write a 3 here, and our answer is 39. So again, we need to do a quick calculation to ensure that we have added these properly. So, we can add 30 and 25 is 55. 55 and 9 will give us 64. 64 add 39. So 64, 74, 84, 94. And we add the 9, that will give us 103. So our answer is 103, and we are going to write that down here. 103. And our answer is 103 over 40. Five. This is also a improper fraction. Okie doke. Let's go to the next question. Question three. As you can see, we do not have a same denominator. So this time we are going to find the denominator. In the first two questions, we had the the alike denominator, which means the same denominator. But now we need to look for it. So we need to look for a common factor which goes in 8, 6, 4 and 3. I was thinking of the number 24. Let's try 24. Would 24 go into 8? Let's write 24. So, 8 times something equal 24. 8, 16, 24. Yes, 8 times 3 will go into 24. 
6, would 6 go into 24? We are double checking, making sure that 24 is the common factor which will go as a denominator. So 6 times 4 would also equal to 24. Fantastic. At the moment we're doing great. And the next one is 3. As we know, 3 will also go into 24 as it's the as it's here, so 3 times 8. We can just turn them around. Fantastic. So our common factor, our common factor is 24. A common factor is two numbers that will make the common factor. Okay, so 8 times what equals 24? 8 times 3 equals 24. It's written up here as well. And then we do 7 times 3. 7 times 3 is 21. Okay, 5 over 6. 6 times what will equal to 24? Pop 24 here. 6 times 4 equals 24. Well done. Let's look at the next one. 5 times what are we going to do? We are going to use exactly the same method that we used at the bottom. So 5 times 4 equals 20. Right, let's look at the next question. 4 times what equals 24? What multiple would go to 20? Which multiple will go with 4 to make 24? 4 times 6 equals 24. We do exactly the same to the top. So we get 6 over 24. 3 times what? equals 24. You may know by now that 3 times 8 equals 24. And then you do exactly the same on the top. 2 times 8 equals 16. Now we are quickly going to add these up. 21 add 20 is 41. 41 Add 6 is 47. 47. Add a 10. 57. 57. Add 6 is 63. 63 over 24. You may have realised that 63 over 24 is also an improper fraction. You have to remember the rule, which is if you times the denominator by 3, you have to times the numerator by 3. If you times the, the denominator by 6, you have to times the numerator by 2, by 6, 2. Please like and share this video and subscribe to Faz Learning Centre.